In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over one of my favorite visual effects to mess around with. In fact, I probably use it too often, but it's uh, taking shapes and letters and giving them a texture that makes it look like they're swirling with liquid or dripping with liquid uh, or making them look slimy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some letters real quick here. And let's make this a font that looks a little bit better being dynamic like that. So we'll go with Hey November. There we go. And that fill the page a little better here. While we're at it, we'll also create a shape. We'll just do just a random shape. go. So we got our text and we got our random shape. We're going to select everything that matches the color of what we want to look slimy. And we're going to fill it with noise. So we're going to use solid noise, the type of noise that just looks like clouds or smoke. We want it to be, we want to have a lot of detail to work with here because we're going to be smearing it around and trying to make it look really interesting. So we want it to have a lot of, a lot of texture going on. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to be turbulent. I'm going to up the detail here. There we go. That gives us a lot to work with. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to colorize it to be whatever color we want the liquid to be. So let's go with let's go with kind of a, a minty kind of slime, a, a weird mint kind of slime here. There we go. Maybe maybe up the contrast a little bit more. Give us a little bit more to work with. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna use our what what GIMP refers to as the warp transform, but what you're probably used to being called liquify in Photoshop. Either way, the principle is gonna be the same. We're gonna use a a brush size that's you know right around the same uh, thickness as the strokes of the lettering. We want it to have no hardness. We want it to be feathered as much as possible so it's nice and smooth. Now, I use my fingertips to do this. I find it to be the most enjoyable way to do this. Uh, and I've got, a, I've got a laptop with a touch screen. But if you don't have one, you can just use your mouse. No big deal. Either way, you're accomplishing the same thing. It just kind of makes it feel fun for me. It's like finger painting. So I'm going to zoom in here. And then we're just going to start using the uh, the move pixels part of the warp. We're going to make this brush a little bit smaller. There we go. And see how that causes the pixels to look like they're swirling around as if they're made out of liquid. And we're just going to drag all that around. And you're just making random swirling patterns inside the shape. <laughs> I 
We don't have to stick within the confines of the shape, too. We can kind of make it look like it's splashing or deforming the shape a little bit. Have it dripping a little bit. Zoom out just a little bit more so I can see more of what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Makes it look like it's just a mess. I'll go on then. And you're just gonna do this one at a time, you know, for every every shape that you're wanting to have this this kind of dynamic swirling liquid look to it. You're just going to do random, you're going to drag your mouse or drag your, if you're using a touch screen like me, you're going to drag your finger around just making random patterns and, and swirls all within the, the confines of the shape. And then going outside of the shape every now and then just to, to make it look a little bit more chaotic. And we'll move down to the larger stuff here. You can have a lot of fun with other shapes because you can... There's no... I mean, it's it's whatever you want it to be. So what we'll do is we'll make the brush a little bit bigger here. There. See? See, that's just fun. I mean, whether you're a, a digital artist or a graphic designer or just somebody who's playing around this is just fun to mess around with make it look like it's something that's splatted onto somebody's windshield computer is not anything fancy it's not anything powerful so you know at some points in time it'll chug a little bit while I'm doing this and that's fine you know let the mouse catch up after a while just goes to show that you don't need an expensive fancy computer to do interesting visual effects zoom out a little bit and look see how that looks yeah, see? I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more and then come back. Okay, back and I finished messing around with the shapes here. So as you can see, this just makes it look like a slimy, snotty mess. Uh, this looks exactly like what I was going for, of making it, you know, look like it's it's goo that has just smacked onto somebody's windshield and is, is a drippy, stringy, slimy mess. And if we zoom in a little bit on the text here, we can see that that's exactly what we wanted. It's just a, a gooey, slimy mess. In fact, what we can do, what we'll do is we'll do, uh, we'll change the hue just a little bit. There we go. Now it really looks snotty. And then what we can do is we can enhance it even more if we want to. We can take a brush. Let's see. Let's take a, a splatty brush. And let's add a little bit of kind of a bit of a dark greenish gray to it. What the hell? That's not a good brush at all. Let's find a good brush. How about this one? There we go. So what we're doing is we're just making some splatter here. And then 
in to add a little bit of variance and a little bit more black splatter on top of the dark green splatter. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our warp or liquify. We're going to make our brush really big. And we're just going to smear all this around. Now it's moving like molasses because this is a lot to uh, for my computer to try to process. But the result is worth the frustration because we've got some really neat stuff going on here now. Look at that. That's fun. That's just digital fun. And we can make the brush a little bit smaller if we want to just goof around with the text a little bit more. Looks like something out of a nightmare now. Gets to a point where it doesn't even matter what font you pick because you make it look completely weird and alien. guy a little bit. Look at that. That's nasty. So if that's what you want to do, you want to make something that looks just like a complete mess, completely abstract, far out there, and just like a weird, messy mess. There you go. This isn't anything, uh, you know, this isn't anything groundbreaking. This is something that's been possible for a long time. I'm sure there's tons and tons of other tutorials out there about this, but this is just something I wanted to make a tutorial about because it's it's something I enjoy and I think it's fun. I think it creates some really neat effects. And if you're new to using tools like Photoshop or GIMP, then this might be something you're not already aware of. So hope you have fun with it and see you next time.